So now I'd like to call this segment trying to look somewhat presentable for TV. Alrighty, this is me trying to look somewhat decent for TV, I guess. Um, I think it looks pretty good, but we actually gotta get going before we run late. I am so tired. Let's go. I'll see you on TV. You'll see me on TV? Yes, right. Alrighty. Bye. Love you. Love you. So the time is 5.42 in the morning, and we're headed up to Maravel right now. Ah! <sighs> Alrighty, all right, we're hurrying right now to try and get to the studio. It's 7.32 right now. Is it somewhere around here, isn't it? The yeah, next street or something? Next street. So... Hopefully we make it. Morning. I have an interview on the Tina 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 morning show. Uh, Riyadh. Toasted to the mountain at a drag. Push up the information. I'm sorry, we want to drink it. Okay, young for me, girl. Yeah. And my next guest is Riyad Rahman, filmmaker, and you are the filmmaker of Lagahu. Welcome yeah. to the program. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Good to have you. But you are known for comedy, Yeah. but this sounds like a horror. So it's, it's, it's got kind of been a one-man crew. Yeah. Uh, me, uh, my cousin Shazid, <laughs> yes. who's the other actor. He really scared me. I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that's good. Yeah. So how long, how long have you been making films then? Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, of course, there's that feeling of like, paranoia. Right. Like, is there someone messing with me? Is yeah. that actually? Like yeah. creature it is. You
on TV. I'm out of the picture. I want to be in the picture. I'm not in the picture. Alright, thank you so much. Alright. Alrighty, so that is my TV interview on TTT Complete. It was a lot of fun. I was way less nervous than I thought I was. And I thought I did pretty good, to be honest. Um, we reached like so late because of traffic and everything, and we just made it, and I was like tense the whole time. But as soon as I got on set and everything, I'm like, yo, this is actually pretty cool, and, and we made it. <laughs> Went to the wrong building. Really? I'm kidding. Yo, we got money call, man, I just saw it. I probably should have started with a joke. Like, what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> and then it has the guys with the drums and stuff. Yeah. And they could just do. So I was inside doing my interview, and uh, Dad was outside, and well, he was parked waiting for me, so he went online to look at the live stream. He watched it for like, how much, like 10 minutes? Wait, but at least five minutes, I think I didn't wait come on. So he was waiting for me to come on, right? And it was like close to eight o'clock, and then eight o'clock finally hits. And he's like, what the hell? Did they not interview him, or like, is it going after eight? And then mom calls him, and she said, yo, he did really good. So he's wondering, what the hell did I just watch? He was, you were watching like... Maybe YouTube, all the previous ones, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so it, was, I it was a live stream? I don't know what the hell I look. I just Googled TTT live stream or whatever came up, I clicked on it. Yeah. He's probably watching a video, so he's gonna get to see it when he go home, actually. The interview was pretty good. I didn't conk out and forget everything. Like, what's your name? We're home. Well, that went better than I expected. I was way less nervous than I actually thought I'd be, and the funny thing is, this actually isn't my first TV interview. I've actually been interviewed on TV already back in 2014. Looking back at it, I'm not really sure how I managed to get this interview. I had like 100 subscribers and I was 15 at the time. But this station called Guy LTV wanted to interview me because of my Life Down South series and everyone's been hyping me up because of, I guess, how great I did on this interview, saying that I didn't look nervous and that it was perfect, I spoke really well. So I just wanted to show you this really old interview from 2014 and compare it a bit with the new one. Let's go. Welcome. My next guest is Mr. Riyad Rahman. He's a producer, television producer. He focuses on a program called Life Down South. It's a family program. Welcome, Riyad. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yes. And my next guest is Riyad Rahman, filmmaker. And you are the filmmaker of Lagahu. Welcome yep. to the program. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Good to have you. Some things never change. Well, I mean, it feels good to, to know that I have more potential to do better. I feel like I have a lot of skills in directing and, you know, I can hopefully have a... Uh... Like any script, it takes time. Sometimes to make scripts, I, um, I pace and it just comes to me sometimes. And I, you write, you write yeah, as well yeah, as... Yeah, I write, I have to pace up and down. My dad always makes jokes. The kind of videos I do are mostly comedy. Comedy. But I haven't um, done any, any like action movies or anything yet. I haven't put that much thought into it. I kind of focus on comedy. So like, and like I said, I'm kind of known for comedy, but I always like to try new things and like, even when there's a challenge or something like that, I always try to like push what mm -hmm. I can do. Mm -hmm. Of course, later on, I'll experiment with action. Maybe not horror. Maybe not horror. Maybe not horror. Yes! Oh my God! Yeah, so you can see the uh, very big leap in confidence over the years. And I think part of that is just because I'm so passionate about the stuff I'm creating now. It was a great experience. I'm really, really thankful for it. And I hope there's a lot more in the future. I hope you guys stick around to see them and I will just keep on creating. So thank you all so much. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>